All right, so I'm back, and today we're just going to go ahead and get this shit piece out of the way. Um, this is the TFC Mad Blender. Uh, next one in the uh, Hercules Wave. And there he is in robot mode. Back heavy and all. Um, so he's got the instructions. You know what you do. You still don't really need them. Uh, so he's got uh, accessories here going on. He's got the uh, purple one of this and then the uh, clear red one. Uh, this piece does pull off. So if you want to give him more of a regular gun, you can. Uh, which I think that looks infinitely better. Um, but uh, you leave this on or maybe... No, we can't put it off to the side. So you put it on there and you can plug it in this way. It's kind of like he's got the side mag. Um, he's got this piece here that goes to the wing on Devastator. Um, there's a Reaper label added. And there, you can also see the Reaper label added for the, uh, the barrel as well. We can take this and lift it up so you can have like kind of over the shoulder guns. Not much else you can do with that except, you know, maybe if you wanted to, you can like plug one of these in there. So you can have that on top of the gun if you wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. As you can tell, I'm not too enthused about this figure. Um, so then he's got this, the barrel, which is just, I think, I, I said this in my initial review of this guy when I was comparing him to the Make Toys. Uh, I think having the barrel um, attached into the back was a much better idea than this because this is, this is kind of stupid and there's no real way to put it that will not make him back heavy. So you can always take it off. Set it off to the side, and then and then he's more like a regular robot. But then you gotta figure out what to do with this, which they thought of, and by thought of they, not the most ingenious of ideas. Um, they made it so that you can take the barrel apart somehow. There you go. Let's put this apart. Pull these apart, pull these apart, pull these apart, pull these apart, and now you got missile pods. And you guys know how I feel about the missile pods. And you can take these and you can like plug them into his farm. You know, woo. Yeah, you know, that looks so awesome. I am so glad I spent, you know, when you first buy this guy, you spend $100 on a figure that has parts of barrels hanging off the side and parts forming. Oh, and then you can take this piece here, fold this around, and now he's got a sniper rifle. I mean, I don't even know what to think at this point with this, with this <laughs> figure. Um, it's it's pretty ridiculous and then and then you'll have to sit there and figure out how to put all this stuff back together so that goes there try to get the uh, all the long ones together first like so and this I think go you take the short ones put those in put those in and you gotta line this up so that everything plugs together like so plug this all together and there you go woo I'm not excited by this figure, uh, as you could tell. Um, 
I, I, I hate this gimmick. It's it's stupid. It is. I mean, I expect more from Hasbro than a hundred dollar third party figure. All right, supposability. So uh, his head is. Uh, I think it's just a swivel. Um, so we'll side to side. Um, but because the neck joint is loose, you kind of get up and down. A little wiggle here and there. Um, but that's the transformation not working properly. Uh, shoulders can move up and down, in and out. It gets hindered by these wheels on the back that just kind of sit there um, in the way. You can try and uh, plug them in here, but then they're in the way there. Uh, only way to avoid it really is put them all the way back. The only way to do that is undo this piece. And now you've got this big floppy shit going on. Uh, Oh, maybe we can put the barrel on now. Nope. I, I, <laughs> you can tell how much fun I'm having with this thing. Anyway, this is supposed to be like this. These wheels can only go back this far. So they catch things on everything. Um, this piece here hinges out like here. There is a bicep swivel. Elbow bends about to there, and then it bends all the way back there. Hands don't do anything. They just hinge back for transformation. Uh, he's got a sidewards ab crunch. Uh, waist swivel. Hips go up and down, in and out. Thigh swivel. Bends at the knee, ratcheted there, and then he bends here, so he gets pretty good bend on the knee. Um, no real movement with the feet. So, and these shoulder pads just kind of, you can try to angle them different ways, but there's no way that you can angle it so that they're not just kind of in the way. I, they're always going to be in the way. They're just this huge chunk of kibble that just doesn't fit the character very well. I don't think. These side wheels really irritate me. And this mixing barrel is just it, its just a fucking joke uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Alright, so to transform him uh, what you want to do is push the head in like so. Untab this section here. Um, there's just ports here and here that plug into these holes here and here. So you fold this up like this. Then you want to take the arms here, put the hands in. The dog is really thirsty, I guess. All right, and so you want to angle it so the screws are facing forward. Uh, and then you collapse it down like so. And then the wheels come up like this. And then you can flip these pieces that have been trying to go back into place. All review. Um, flip those back into place. And this will come back. And tab into those arms. And then there's a port here. That will plug onto this port here. Like so. All right, and then we want to rotate the waist around, rotate the leg around, then you rotate the foot around. Like so. Flip these pieces up. These pieces here will come up like so. And then you collapse this up like so. So it just bends here and then you bend it here. Collapse all the way down. Tab those in. And there you have the truck. 
take the mixer here and this will plug into um, this port right here so you plug that in this will fold back and then these two ports here and here will cradle into these two slots here and here just like so and there you have them in robot mode or vehicle mode uh, and he looks good uh, I like the way he looks. I like the the green and the purple. This is Reaper labels. This was all green, so that was actually pretty pretty hideous. Um, he rolls decently. Um, you can take uh, the guns and stuff, and you can pour them in wherever you want. Something like that. This pretty much only can go right here. Yeah, because that looks great. Let's try it the other way. That looks a little bit better. You can tell a, a, a car is unbalanced when it does that. It shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, anyway. As you can tell, I'm not too thrilled with him. He's not my favorite of the group. Um, I think it's poor engineered because um, the barrel has to transform or has to fall apart. I think, you know, they, they couldn't figure out anything to do with it uh, with the barrels. So they decided to make it into little missile pods, which I think is a horrible waste. Um, I, I would prefer it to be stationary built into the back and not have to worry about it like Make Toys did. Um, that was a much better engineered figure uh, when it comes to that. Um, but ultimately... I, it is what we is what we got this is what we got so take the barrel back off uh untab these wheels just pull them out and then this will come back rotate this out flip the wheels back unhinge the legs split rotate the waist rotate the hips rotate the shin Back, back, and back. Just like so. Do the same thing over here. Now, you know, for his time, I, I always thought he was okay engineered. Um, nothing spectacular. Um, decent at best. But now he is, in comparison to what we have coming and what we've gotten, um, I think he's he's pretty poor engineered. I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the way he looks. I, I think they really could have done a better job on this. Um, so let's do a comparison. Uh, here he is with the Legends. Which again, you know, if he's a cassette, he'd look pretty good there. Seeker Mold doesn't look good at all. Uh, Optimus looks alright. He should be a little bit taller, but that's not too bad. Here is Combiner Wars Off-Road. This looks pretty good together. I do like that. Um, and here he is with uh, Apollyon. And again, like I said in the last review with Scavenger, I think he could be a little bit bigger. Uh, or he should be a little bit bigger, but this isn't too terrible. And then here he is with Scavenger. Uh, he doesn't have his crane thingy. So, here they are together. Uh, and they do look good together. Um, the greens match perfectly. The purples match perfectly. Uh, everything matches perfectly. So that's a plus. It's not like, oh, that green's kind of that green. It, I mean, they designed these things to look like they should go together. Um, 
All this being said, uh, this is by far the worst figure in the line, in my opinion. I'm going to give him a 4 out of 10. If it wasn't for the combined mode, I'd say pass on him. And I'm, uh, I have two scavenger, or um, scra sc scrappers. I have two scrappers. So I'm, I'm actually tempted not to put him on and put a second scrapper on. And I'd feel better about myself. Um, <laughs> But ultimately, I think he's. I, I I don't think he's worth the price tag. Twenty dollars tops is what I'd pay for him. Um, you know, by himself. If you're just gonna collect him by himself, I mean, even if if you're a mixed master fan, you're gonna be insulted by this figure. To be honest, um, it's not as bad as Revenge of the Fallen mixed master. To be honest, um, but yeah, he's he's not very good. I don't recommend him. Uh, I need to look at a different figure next. Um, probably Hook. I like Hook. He was a, he was a good figure. We'll look at Hook next.